Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jude from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought I'd show you how to make these lovely little book page pockets. Now they're really simple because I know we've got lots of new subscribers to my channel. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe because um, I have some lovely, lovely videos for you. Um, and we don't want you to miss out. So this is a great one. Um, it's just using book paper, um, making it into a lovely little um, pocket and just a few embellishments. Now on these ones that I've used my um, mixed journal cards, I've used my lovely fussy cut butterflies and some of my mixed words and phrases on there. I'll pop a link to the ones down below anyway so you can um, go and take a look. But these are so so simple and they are really really lovely. Now you can put anything you like in them. Now I know we like to send things to people, um, little gifts um, for people and these are lovely to pop little bits and pieces in. Um, and there's this one here, I've got my butterflies. This one I've sewn around it. I've just sewn the lovely lace um, and um, some velvet ribbon on there all around the outside. I've um, got some butterflies on there. A um, little bit of um, cheesecloth, of course, a bit of paper, um, so all sorts on there. And this one here, I've got one of my little dingly danglies. I've got, of course, we have some little rose trim. And what I've done with this one, I've attached one of our little snap buttons. Now, this is the one that, we, um, that I showed you how to cover. And I've also popped a little bit of seam binding around it so it looks like a little flower. Now I've popped this onto the paper um, so, and as you open it up you can see here, well, I hope you can see, I've added a little circle of paper on there, a little bit of covered card with book paper just to reinforce it just a little bit. Um, so the, the size is three quarters of an inch so I've just popped out a little circle out of some that's just recycled card and some book paper over the top and I've just inked around the edge and stuck it on there and popped the little snap button through that just to reinforce it but if you're going to do that and you clicking them close make sure you put your finger underneath there to pull it off just so just in case to make sure it doesn't rip um, and to show you the size this is a four by six little journal this is one of my little flip journals um, that I've made. I've got a tutorial I believe so I'll find the tutorial and pop a link below and this fits in there perfect. So if you're making some smaller little journals that is a, just a lovely size for them to fit into and pop that closed like that. So it's a lovely little gift, somewhere to pop your little journals or your little cards, tags, whatever you like to make people um, or yourself. So I'm going to show you how easy they are to make. Now what I've got, I've got a piece of tea stain paper, I've got a piece of my book paper, or oh, this is all the, one of the cards, these are the journaling cards here, so I've got a nice big pile there. This is a piece of book paper, now if you don't have a large piece like this, do you can just do like a little collage. Now this tea stain paper is A4 size, so it's printer copy size. But again, use whatever um, size you want to do. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to glue this onto the paper. So the book paper is a little bit thin, so it needs this paper behind um, just to sort of sturdy it up a little bit. So just I'm just glue sticking it down. But again, you can use whatever glue you like, but this I find sticks really well and it's quick. So just make sure you've got lots of glue all over it so it sticks down properly. And then not too much glue, so you've got it everywhere. That's a great lump of it on there. We don't want that. Turn it over. Oh, I hope this doesn't go blurry. Sorry if it is. I'm going to just stick that down. Now I've stuck it up into like the far corner. So I've still got an edge around here. Um, on this one but that doesn't matter but again you can just fill the whole thing up with sort of like um, book paper however you like whether you want to use little scraps or in sections 
um, I'm just going to stick it on like that so that's all stuck down nicely I will turn that little bit over like that because we don't really need that now I'm going to just ink it a little bit now I'm going to use the vintage photo on here a little bit put that out there oopsie daisy so I'm just going to ink round just the top of it that's going to be the top of the pouch all the little pocket just go round a little bit with a bit of ink like that okay that's it very simple okay now you want to just sort of like make sure it's a little bit dry you might want to leave it just for a fraction okay and then what we want to do is bend it over like this now i've got this light little lip there so what i've done i've just covered that up like that and folded it in so we want to fold this so this line sort of goes roughly down the middle of the back of it like that so let's just fold that down and fold that down so however you do it make sure you sort of like got this line down the middle like that and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just turn this piece up like this. So I've turned it up so it sort of like comes to this end of this, um, the words there. I can speak um, just like that. So on the front then, it's just got all the, the writing on there, all the script on there. Okay. So now i'm going to stick this down now if you're going to sew around the top if you wanted something to go all the way along and you like to sew on your sewing machine with the paper pop something along there now before you like so if you wanted a bit of ribbon you can pop that down um, and then you can just sew it all along okay uh, but i'm not going to do that today i'm not going to do any sewing i'm just going to pop that down so i'm going to get my um, tacky glue which is in here I do have you asking what's in here it's just the Anita's tacky glue which I pop into this little um, easier little um, bottle I do mix it just with a tiny tiny bit of water because it is quite thick um, and it's easier if it's a, just a little bit more runny just to get it out of the little tip on the end so I'm just going to go all the way down to the bottom with the glue and then we're going to stick that down like that. Now again you don't have to use book paper you can just use um, some scrapbook paper if you wanted to um, and then you wouldn't have to stick anything on the top just fold it as I am now okay and then we're going to fold that bit up so with this bit I'm going to cut this from the edge here so if you folded it I'm just going to cut it down like that put those out of the way I'm going to cut this piece off which just comes to the end of the book paper just like that um, and then we want to because then you've got two little flaps in there like that you want to cut the inner one off so it's not too thick Fold that one back and then we just cut the inner one off like that. Just like that. And then this bit just turns up. So that's only one layer across there. Okay. And then we're going to glue this down. So this is the bottom of your envelope or pouch or pocket or whatever you'd like to call it. Like that. I've got a couple more that I'd like to show you as well but I'll do that in the video the next video um, I thought I'd start off with this one um, for you because it's quite simple now I'm just going to ink just around the edges a little bit a bit more ink Oops. just pop a little bit of ink around the edge like that I will do for the back as well I'm just going to leave the backs plain 
um, but again you can always um, embellish the back of it as well so I have got so that opens up the top so we've got our nice little pocket there like that and I've got a few bits here which I've already picked out so it's a bit quicker for us right so I've got these lovely little images here from the pack and then I've got this one which says strength so this is from words and phrases so what I'm going to do I'm going to stick a little bit of this lovely this one I dyed I think with um, some blueberries this was from last summer um, that I did that so I'm just going to stick that along the top with a little bit of three in one just stick this down pop these bits out of the way now again you can embellish them however you want you can make them in any different um, style um, so it's entirely up to you but I'm just using a little bit of pretty lace I'm going to cut that off and then it goes with this lovely rose trim which I just love as you all know which I'm going to just pop across here now I do believe you can get other colours in this so I think I might get some other colours I think it's yellow and red I'm not sure I must take a look now I do get it from Etsy but I know you can get it from Amazon as well I don't get it from Etsy at all I get it from AliExpress um, but I know you can get it from um, Amazon I do have a link below um, for you there we go so doesn't that look pretty it looks really really pretty I think I think this rose trim and the book paper just go really really well now I'm going to pop these on so you can pop as much as you like whether I need that one do I need that one so these can just go on like this I like to sort of like almost do like a, a little collage of roses on there how should we have it should we have it sort of like that little collage of roses now I'm going to use a little bit of book paper here not book paper tea stain paper just rip up little bits if you've got any um, scrap just rip up a few bits just to pop underneath just to layer it up like this just some little pieces that can go in there and then I've got some cheesecloth here now I'm going to ink these um, bits what did I just do with that so I flick it there we are I'm just going to ink these little bits there's my ink up. there we are just pop some ink on Again, you can use more pattern paper, whatever you like. I thought this would go really well. Just like this. So I'm going to then ink the outside. Now I did sew around this one here. I have sewn around that one, but I'm going to just leave this one here. Just go down the edge just a little bit more. I have got inked edges anyway, but I just want it a little bit darker. Maybe I'll use that one. It's a little bit smaller, I think. And then I'm going to get my little dauber just to go around the edge of this one. How was I going to have it? I've forgotten now. There we go. That goes on there. And then we'll have a little one just in there like that. So this one needs to go down first because that's right on the bottom. So we shall put that there. And then I'm going to put this 
one down onto there. So it's like that. And then we pop this one down. I might just pop a little bit of cheesecloth underneath this one. Just stick that down a little bit. I've got my wrong scissors. I don't know where I've put my big scissors. And these don't cut very well at all. I think my big scissors are downstairs. So I was doing a little bit of cutting out yesterday. that put down the side I think let's take that off pull that down the side a bit more glue on here I think this on. It's really just about layering up different bits of paper and you can use all sorts of things on here. A little bit more fabric in there you could use. I'm just going to pop that one on there which says strength which I think is really nice. So that will go there like that. Now I am loving these because they are so simple and so easy and quick to do and I think it looks really nice. Now as well you can, I did have some of my little um, tags here. Now these are the ones that we made out of um, just some scrap paper leftovers which I think I might just dingle off, dangle off there. Maybe I'll have two which I do, I love the look of it, so let's just pop a little bulb pin in there, put the small one and then the bigger one and just have that hanging off. So I think I just love little things that dingle dangle down like that. Now you can pop whatever you like on there. What do I have in my little pot here? Let's have a look all sorts of little bits of things that I've got in here that I've collected lovely ribbon that shouldn't really be in there so what shall we put on there I'm not sure if I've got anything in here one of our funny little bows we could put on there just like that that would look quite nice for now wouldn't it glue will come out. There we go. Just one of our little little knotty bows there. And maybe again I do love my butterflies. Nice big big jar of um, butterflies there. Fussy cut butterflies. So we'll pop this little butterfly on there as well. Just pop him in there. Stick him down with my scissors. There we go. And there we go, guys. How lovely is that? And I think they are really nice. A lovely little gift inside. Or you can make your own little journals or little journaling cards or little tags to pop in there. But I think they are so, so lovely. You could even do a little bit of mixed media on there. You could add a little bit of um, gesso on here as well, which would look really pretty. Um, but I think they are really lovely. And it's very simple. So if you're a newbie and you're just starting out, these are perfect for you to do. So that's that one. We have got this one here. This one here. And then again, we have this one with the little... Um, snap button on there which are perfect to pop your journals and bits in so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed that i hope you're going to give it a go because they are really really simple and i'm sure if you're going to make them as a gift people will love them all right guys thank you so much for joining me please do take care 
um, and I will see you soon. Alright guys, bye bye!